Hello Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a Wait a Minute production. Today is the 14th of September 2013. I'm at the accommodations of course. This is quite different from my modus operandi of staying for free in a tent or anywhere else, sleeping rough, whatever. So we, or oh, I am at the Cavalry Hotel in the city centre if I'm not mistaken. In front of the main bank which, in, which is in the same uh, side of the road with, uh, I think it's called Sarawak plaza sarawak plaza that has a cinema and also around the same road as this uh, maybank sarawak plaza is a margarita hotel i don't know whether it's famous or not but uh, seems famous to me because it looks fucking old so this is a new kind of hotel something in tune of get it in tune of tune hotels it's got the red color and white and uh yeah i'm getting a room for myself and uh, is this free I hope so. Hey, okay. Sorry, it's not Cavalry Hotel. Cavalry Hotel is, is actually the restaurant below or in front of the lobby. So this is a uh, Abbott Abel Abel Hotel. So let's see, and we have the same old shit. Am, am I doing a hotel review? God. Okay, I'm doing everything and now everywhere. So let's see here. We have the fuck. I gotta do this first. Uh, recharge my batteries, which has gone kaput. This is the, well, the 75 ringgit uh, third party or say pirated uh, battery for my Canon PowerShot A2500. So let's see, very important to charge it before I go rampaging around town looking for horrors and massage parlors. And, uh, and so far I've uh, enjoyed the local cuisine uh, that is in the women around here and they look pretty fine local cuisine indeed so let's see what's happening and happening is what I'm seeing ah, today I was knackered knackered means in British it's a British slang for very tired very fucking tired uh, and of course the flight is like around 6 30 so woke up at around 4 o'clock 4 a.m. that is and uh, coming here, reaching here, I think around 9, then went to some Sakirin border type of uh, Indonesian Pasar Malam, Pasar Pagi, whatever you want to call it. It's a, a morning or whole day market. And uh, it's uh, quite a good experience to actually, well, experience the fruit that is I have never tasted before called Salat. The salad or salak, I'm not sure, with an ending T for tits or ending K for K for cock, spell wrongly. So, or K for conket. Uh, what the fuck? Who's phoning me? It's creepy. Hello. Yep. Yep. Yep, okay. Thank you. Bye. So they just uh, call to say that it's a non-smoking room that's uh, given because you can see the bloody sign there. And I don't want to like uh, set off the sparking sprinklers up there. I don't want to have a wet time. Okay, actually I would love to have a wet time when the wet applies to the girl. Yes. So let's see, we have a Panasonic TV here, HDMI. You can put, oh god, you can put that. Uh. Does that mean I can like say put the eh? Is there a slot for SDHC and what the hell is SDHC? Uh oh, there's an on here. Okay, definitely no Astro. If it's Astro, it's only a couple of channels, which sucks. Or they can put the car in, but I don't know whether they have an internal type of a uh, processing power that actually would corrupt or put viruses if the virus is already inside the damn TV so I can actually see what I have uh, recorded for the whole day here so it's wow it's quite uh, convenient but uh, if you don't like viruses it's best not to touch anything at all besides your own self or your own computer so we can yeah we have astro and we have the business and uh what the fuck is this no idea mm, fox sports uh, 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 uh fox movies eh? hit and run fuck it what's this uh, god knows 
uh, okay there's a couple of channels uh, maybe three six or whatever so I don't know it's a it's, so it's a Panasonic TV and where's the volume fucking hell and where's the control ah yes the control is here and there's the Astro thing and uh, have I given you the the what do you call review of Iron Man I don't think so because I did the Iron Man one two three review in one shot but uh, the camp studio went cropper on me because it was way past 1.7 gigs or 2.0 gigs whichever you would like to say it so I'm taking my clothes off as you can see from my shadow here taking off my all important uh, underwear and uh, well the wheel is quite astonishingly simple it's a wall and there's a fake bamboo did I lock the damn door? Oh, I would have had if people were to, I mean, some cute the new bugger were to like venture, have some adventure coming in and taking a peek at me being naked, I would get gladly accept her for a while, night. Hmm. So it's quite a queen size bit, or is it a king size? God knows. And uh, the art here, let's see, let's see. Is uh, okay. Hmm color scheme is okay as well so what do we have here we have the tong sampa or bin the uh, important tissues for you know what uh, nothing here no bible no al quran okay there's a dryer so i can use this goddamn thing to dry my shoes good 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 good, good. because i had a mishap at that uh, small little rest stop thingy and my battery is flashing for this Canon one uh, does it mean it's going to fail soon because I just put it in about 30 minutes ago so fuck it god damn it it's a Canon it's really I mean I've been using it for two months quite a lot lately and definitely it has gone a cropper and I didn't even overcharge charge it much at all which is one of the tips of uh, extending the life of the battery and uh, yeah there's towels here good 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 small ones for being sexy and big ones for being not sexy or ones for the floor okay actually this one is for the floor which is a good thing and uh, oh I better be careful with the mirror because uh, you see my large packer so let's see here a uh, very avant-garde type of a design for the uh, bowl here very nice uh, shower cap uh, and it's nothing to do with any like French cap which is actually another name for condoms or prophylactic thingies soap and uh, 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 let's see here red and pink May, sorry green and pink uh, we have the Albert Hotel Abel Hotel bar, bar gel and shampoo hmm. very nice very nice and uh, okay hopefully you're not seeing some reflection on my dick so I'm gonna take a shit do you want to see me and there's a nice design here very very nice uh, unfortunately uh, this is a way to actually do it make it make you feel more welcome by making it uh, pointy so okay I uh, better put on this one of the towels to make me decent to, to show you what the fuck happened when I tried to open the door which I uh, was quite surprised quite surprised so the modus operandi, modus operandi of this uh, hotel staying is actually there's nothing inside the damn thing. It's very strange. Inside the fridge, there's no, no nothing, no drinks, no alcohol, and no nothing. Weird. Must be a budget hotel. So there's the Abel Hotel, and uh, yeah, I just open this one, and there's no slot. Actually, I was looking for a slot to put the card in, the key card, but I was looking. What the fuck? What happened? Where's the slot? But then, uh, now the technology is you just put the key boop, deep, and there you enter just to show you what I meant this is the Able Hotel card locky locky hopefully because I am in just my towel open card and I was looking for it there is nothing to enter I was like confused and thought I tried to do here and there it can't but all you have to do is like what the uh, well in like say modern condominiums they only do this one and that's it open and uh, yeah and, uh, when it comes to that uh, my window there I just enter here and you can see me butt naked so what else is there to see not much actually the camera here 
and uh, well the well there's the OCBC bank Pullman hotel and uh, some other people's washings hmm okay and a thick thick bamboo okay somebody's around so we better go back quick before they see me and there's a surau here as well so let's see how long it lasts this okay it's locked already okay click click and gone so that's my review of the fuck i mean the able hotel so what's the modus operandi here will it turn off itself yeah i guess the light is off already and uh, let's see what one must do when in such situations get my wallet out i don't actually have the wallet in my ass or on my ass cheeks or on my butt cheeks or whatever you want to call it the apex of my ass or ass or buttocks all you have to do is bring a card out which uh, anything will do as long as it fits in this here insert card for power does it work no it does not strange weird 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 so it's more advanced than i thought already so okay it's on now so what i do is take off the card what will happen yep it is i think it is okay yeah so you don't need to use the card you can turn on the aircon all day long just to get back your course oh fuck no 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 actually technology has uh, has been better now so i guess this one does not it's not let's try other cards hmm. no it does not work other cards weird so it's really really sophisticated really you cannot abuse and misuse the power god damn it that's not good okay so you can't do anything about it so 20 degrees celsius nah lower than that man 617 must be 17 it must be cool cold as hell because that's the only time in malaysia where you can enjoy cool and comforting things uh, okay my underwear better get this away what in the world did i bring to this sarawak odyssey here nothing much in my back here is some uh, clothes that i need to do some washing and hang it in the toilet uh, there are no like areas of common decency to hang your your wash dirty washings or or, or underwear my excellent excellent uh, tripod big one uh, they say they can't let me use this one while filming the orangutans because they think they would think it's a gun so yeah it really looks like a gun it's like a futuristic gatling gun you hold the handle here yep and uh, orangutans and uh, gatling guns are not a good combination handphone and ob obligatory smokes uh, new, no use bringing the passport because with that uh, what should we call it i see you can get like say 90 days or three months for us layman for uh, of of staying here so uh, my slippers my swimwear and on my goggles which is obsolete now because now i know that this able hotel has no swimming pool and unfortunately there is no bathtub as well so fuck so should i brought more things like the gundam uh, catalog of 2012 from family toy to actually review and be not bored but unfortunately i did not bring it oh god what a fucking mistake that is so what else this is the end of my bag the msi excellent msi uh, bag that i got with the gx70 msi gaming laptop so we got another extra pack of johns for smoking purposes and dying prematurely and hopefully not a painful death and thank god i remembered to bring my toothbrush which i did not bring when i went to jimmy's uh, house uh, which made me only be able to clean my teeth by chewing gum so if you don't have a toothbrush chew gum because that works just as fine as an ordinary toothbrush so we have a cardigan as well no point in that because it's always hot outside except for inside in my room which is going to be 17 degrees and that's chilly enough to actually shrink your balls so you can get warmer in your body so I have my clothes here got some uh, Air Asia stolen stuff, uh, the cafe menu that is, 
the magazine I did not bother because it was boring and uh, some clothes as well only like say two or three clothes here extra underwear very important for a clean and well hygienic life uh, excuse me and that's about it and I think it's less weighs less than four kilograms because what I got from uh, Air Asia is the no frills type of thing you have to pay if you want to get more than seven kilograms which I think they don't give a fuck actually because they are do they didn't like weigh it at all so that's okay you can bring 20 kilograms and they won't give a fuck that's okay so the fat people will definitely be happy picking or using Air Asia. So there is nothing else to say. I'm not going to waste any more time because I almost used three hours on my first SD card and I might be able to use the second card tomorrow soon. And uh, definitely I'm not going to try it on this SD card. I'll just wait until I go back home to try it on my excellent or maybe substandard GX70 gaming laptop which can play Company of Heroes 2 without any problems. But it has a very stupid and very slow processing CPU, which is the A10 Rich Lin. Uh, that one is uh, not so good compared to the Intel i7s or i5s. Definitely, maybe. So, see you in Malaysia, and uh, hopefully, you like this video. If you like it, do like it. If you don't like it, don't like it. And if you like to see more, please subscribe to me, which is trying to bring desolation and racism and also whatever and whenever to all Malaysian aspects of life and trying to desecrate the sanctity of English because I sometimes mutter nonsense which is grammatically incorrect, structurally incorrect and very very rude. See you Malaysia and bye bye.